All right, this is Tim Leidecker for Sherlock.com. Once again, out here in Moscow, Russia. Standing next to me is uh, the snowman, Jeff Monson. Hello, Jeff. How's it going? It's going well, going well. I've been here a few days and just get acclimated to the weather and the, the time and feel good. How do you feel about uh, making your Russian debut right here in Moscow? I mean, you know, I've, I've wanted to fight here for a long time. I'm, you know, as many fights as I've had, I'm surprised I haven't. So um, this is, you know, kind of a, something I've wanted for a long time, and um, it's finally happening, so I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, this fight with Fedor has been like five years in the making now. Uh, what, what is it, uh, how does it feel for you to actually be fighting him right now? Would you have preferred to f uh, fight him earlier, or are you saying you don't mind and you're really glad this is finally hap happening? Well, you can't always pick and choose what, what you know, it's, uh, you know, life has a funny way of um, giving you what you, <laughs> what you want or what you think you want. So um, it just happened, and I'm just, I'm just excited that it's happening at all. And, um, you know, I, he's, I think, the best heavyweight ever, and uh, it's an honor to fight him. Yeah, um, you're saying uh, he's the best heavyweight ever. Would you take pride in retiring the best heavyweight ever? Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I want to win, so I'm, you know, excited to fight him, and you know, I'm, I prepared to win, and and uh, gonna go do my best, and hope, hopefully, uh, you know, I put the match where I want to, and it goes well. But, um, you know, what he does with his career is is up to him. But, you know, I just want to get the W. Yeah, M1 is uh, promoting you as an American hero out here. How do you feel about that? I don't think they understood what they were doing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got a lot of flack for that. And, um, you know, I'm no hero. The people out there, like, that are, you know, marching in the streets and occupying New York and Oakland and Seattle and all over the, all the world and um, taking time away from their jobs and families and career and school and all this to do these things and stand up for something that those are the heroes, you know. Yeah, I agree. Um, you turned 40 years old earlier this year. What do you reply your critics that are saying uh, you're past it, your, your career is going downhill? What do you say to those critics? Well, I think I'm like, can only get better right now because, you know, physically I feel good. Uh, mentally, I'm learning new stuff. Um, you know, the, this is a sport, MMA, wrestling, powerlifting. These are you know, rugby. These are sports that you can play into your 40s, you know, that you can participate. Um, Jiu-jitsu, you don't have to be 20 years old to be at the, the top level in these sports. So, um, you know, I haven't been knocked out. I haven't been, you know, you know, I'm not slower in the brain or, you know, um, you know, that kind of thing. So there's no reason I can't continue on at a high level mm -hmm. as long as the desire is there. Um. How about your preparation? Uh, where did you train for the fight? Were there any special sparring partner you brought in? Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Well, I, I trained at American Top Team, um, and uh, you know I did my physical preparation at the Institute of Human Performance in Florida. Um, I had you know just American Top Team guys helping me out. We we scouted and um, I had Cattell work my Muay Thai, and um, you know all the guys from the team helped out a lot and, per and were very um, you know influential in my training. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. Last question. Uh, how do you see the fight going and how do you want it to end? I, wanna, I don't care how it wins or ends as long as my hand is being raised at the end. You know, that's all that matters to me. Um, you know, in a perfect world, I would, you know, finish the fight early, you know, in, in some manner. But um, I'm prepared to go 15 minutes and I expect to go 15 minutes. Um, and if it gets, you know, doesn't last that long, I hope uh, it's because I've done something well. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff, and all the best for tomorrow. Thank you very much.